Oh, how is it already morning? This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillionth time. I've got to be missing something. No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Safi. Sorry, Gwen. If there's something useful on this, maybe you'll thank me later. Shit! This is because I told Loretta to look into Vin when she cornered me in the fab, isn't it? I get where Diamond's coming from. This must be terrifying for students. Hold on. She's looking right at the camera, like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Or is this another doppelganger? No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Safi. I read the beginning. It's annoyingly good. Unfortunately, Restraining Order Lucas said Safi once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Safi, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Why on earth did Gwen cancel Sophie's book deal? Didn't she help her to get it in the first place? Before Sophie died, Gwen got her book canceled, and I still don't know why. But that doesn't mean she killed Sophie. Plus, dead world Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah, the Gwen theory has some holes. Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Safi, canoodling. But what does that even mean? Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. I swear. Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? None of this is adding up. Why would Gwen want to be caught? Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. 
Moses? Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? The photo. If he sees that. I have some questions for you. Of course, I... I can answer your questions right here. I knew you'd be a valuable resource. There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Go ahead. Arcadia Bay, where you went to high school, right? Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A whole town wiped out by a freak storm. What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? Go fuck yourself. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do with Safi. Ooh, there it is. Touched a nerve? I knew I'd find one if I kept poking around. Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? Moses and I put it together the day after Safi died, so we didn't have to be alone. That's a cute story, but it's bullshit. I don't know what you want me to say. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Somehow, all this death leads to you. That's not true. <laughs> he saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Maybe... Maybe I still could?
That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. Feels good. Final. Sophie. Here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Sophie died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Sophie! How did we get here? What happened? <laughs> Stop! Stalling, Max! I don't understand! What do you want from me? Pull the trigger! I... What? No. No, that wasn't enough time. Moses, you were right. I don't know how, but you were. I have to tell him. Everything. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. I have to do this. I have to go back up there. This is where the police tape was yesterday. Did the cops take it down on Alderman's orders?
Some of that was definitely directed at me. To the overlook, Max. One foot in front of the other. Might be a good place to wait for Moses. Better cross to the other side. If I didn't know what used to be here, I'd find this really beautiful. I know Safi would have something poetic to say about this. If only. What if he doesn't come? I couldn't blame him. I killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I... Any version of me... Could do something like that? He's probably not coming. Diamond knows where I am, and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. You were right. I shot Sophie, but I can't tell you why, because I don't know the answer myself. No reason you could give would be good enough. Moses, wait. I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look, 
These flowers. What are the odds they'd bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Sophie is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me, poof, disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait, you can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... you'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. And maybe wait on the bench. I shouldn't leave yet. Staying here isn't exactly making me look less guilty. If I didn't know what used to be here, I'd find this really beautiful. I have to use my powers, or Moses is now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. I shouldn't leave yet. I shouldn't leave yet. Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit! I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. Ready when you are. Okay. Let's try this again. Shit. 
<sighs> Sorry, Moses. I shouldn't leave yet. What did I do when you were away? And then you said... Machine Angel Polarity Shield. Wrong. Extremely wrong. But... I did just watch you vanish into thin fucking air. <laughs> wow. I mean... Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... You okay? So Safi's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? The bottle cap? How did you... Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. You give that to her, tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need her help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... rewind time. Just... raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? Yeah. Turns out when you try to change the past, you don't actually fix anything. Sure. But what if the best way to fix things isn't changing your past, but rather changing your present? How dare you bring logic to my pity party? The point is, I... stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night, with a gun. You're saying that could be a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. Felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there, in the past. Sophie mentioned Maya, and oh God, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Sophie. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like 
Intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here too. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Fayette's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of it. <gasps> I fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small time fuck ups like you get under my skin? What do you want from us? I thought I wanted some evidence. Close this fucking case and celebrate with a nice cigar. And then I got my evidence. That little photo of you with the gun. And you know what I realized? Not a fucking soul would believe me. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to collect. Him, Moses. I could have saved him. No, you couldn't have. 
Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. Moses, your hair. I told you, there's always a cost. It started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you, why she died, then maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey, Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. Maya was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen. Gotta go talk to Gwen. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya, and while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Cool. I'm a tired sun, sleepy moon, and exhausted. My younger self might have thought this would make an edgy photo. <laughs> if we can't sit on tables, where are the cool kids expected to sit? In chairs? Like a bunch of squares?
Then boom, the spaceship crashes right in the middle of a park and this alien crawls out of the hatch. That seems like a lot of money for a student project. I'm only gonna shoot the trailer. I figure I can cut costs doing some old school practical effects. Seems like you've got a plan. Lo-fi ambient bellows to chill slash study to. A classic. I, for one, kind of like the paper straws. Gwen's office. Let's see what I can find out from her. A black rose? Pretty morose. It's alive! Old school. Nice. More music I'm not cool enough to know. It takes me ages to comment on one student photo. I can't imagine having to grade exams. One of Sophie's former students, I guess. Is that... Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max, hey! To what do I owe the pleasure? Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal cancelled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. Look, I don't know what I'm at liberty to tell you, but I'll do my best. What do you want to know? So what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? Ugh. Forgive me for dancing around things. I... I wish I could be straight with you, really. How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Not a lot. I know they were friends. <laughs> Understatement of the year. The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that... Ben Lang kid... Used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then... Maya took her own life. And that's what Sophie wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but... 
It's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? Someone ought to. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like, I don't know, being hit by a tidal wave. Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. How can they have no record of him? They sent him. Will Gwen be allowed to come back for these? Tossing Gwen out screwed everybody over. So they took her computer. Probably going through it right now. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Audrey? I'm worried about Kim. So am I. None of my attempts to reach- Sharing your story isn't what I'd call it. Last time we spoke, Kim said she didn't want to go out. I think she's depressed. Well, she told me she was busy. She's probably too focused. How many pets is Chester finding on the daily? I've got it. Let's send Kim a gift so she knows we're thinking about her. Hmm. This must be the professor Sophie TA'd for. She mentioned he liked to tear this one kid down, but failing him is harsh. I bet Safi wouldn't mind me helping out one of her favorite students. Shit. I need a password to change the grades. I'll never find it in this mess. But are roses too basic? I don't want him to think we can't bring this.
<laughs> Guard your ankles. Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Okay, time for a delicate conversation. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. I'm gonna try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just... so-so. <laughs> Have you seen Sophie today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. Did Sophie tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Sophia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Sophie's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Sophia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can... Cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? Uh, of course. I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? There's this rumor that something happened with Maya before she died. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but... Ms. Okada appears to have caused herself a great deal of pain. So, she had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Sophie associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. 
Safia's been distant lately. Could you keep an eye on her for me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to... Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. I... Yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. Thank you, Maxine. Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. That was... odd. What did she mean by Vin's statement? Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself. He's probably in the admin building. Lucas must be really grateful if he deigns to be this nice to me. Hey, sport. We're just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Sport? Yeah. I'm trying out middle-aged white dad slang nowadays. Is it working? <laughs> sure. What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. I mean... I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. <laughs> See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. He's probably in the admin building. Professor sitting on the table? Wait, Donner and Blitzen means thunder and lightning? <laughs> Who knew Santa's reindeer were so metal? Martin has an A here. I knew it. Safi would never fail this kid. And then she didn't. I can't imagine being this trusting. 
Don't they know there's snoops like me around? The art department really pushes for self-expression in every medium. I like that about- Oh, wow. These are... Uh... Extremely creepy. Sorry. Enjoy the A, my dude. I think you've earned it. Have fun! It's that security guy who's been lurking all over campus. Is he... looking at classes? I wanted to talk to you about Abraxas and who should be leading it. Oh no! Somebody abandoned their boy. Diamond wants to lead Abraxas. I bet she's got some good secrets. Whoa, Diamond was working on a documentary about Moses. I wonder why she never went through with it. That was not dirt on Vin. I'm sorry, Diamond. I didn't think this is what I'd find. Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Vin, Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume. Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Please. I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? <laughs> you gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? The her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. 
But if I had the right piece of dirt, I bet I could make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Vin gave a statement where he said Maya had mental health problems, which may have been true, but I think there's more. What I'm saying is, someone let Maya down really badly. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. Whatever he did, now's your chance to squeeze it out of him. Damn. Okay, Machiavelli. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the other side. Would Alderman's mother know what happened to her son? I didn't realize I needed cryptid erotica until just now. The hedgehog, distant relative of the shrew, enjoys its rest after a full day's work for the kahuna. Just... Don't break it? I could just get you a new one. It cost me like two dollars. I don't want a new one. I want the one you gave me. Sophie bought him that hedgehog? That's sweet. Changing Yasmin's schedule must have been agonizing. For both her and Vin. Somebody patched you up. Well... I'm glad one of us is feeling better. Say cheese, little guy. How nice of you to finally return my phone calls, Desmond. Damn the email. Sophie was our only- I don't blame Vin for wanting to ditch Caledon and get a fresh start. Looking for gigs out on the west coast, huh? Break a leg, Vin. That's my cue to get out of here. How the hell do I get him to talk? Hey, Vin. Now that is the face of someone who just overheard the little discussion Diamond and I were having. Yeah, afraid so. I take it things are dicey inside of Braxis? Yeah, well, things are dicey outside of it too. <laughs> The uniformity is comforting. And yet, no little airplane bottles in sight. <laughs> uh, Kahuna caught on to the airplane bottle gambit, so now I have to drown my sorrows at the turtle after work. Join me. You're on. I'd kill for a stiff drink. Lucky for you, murder won't even be necessary. Gotta 
hear what Vin says to Diamond. Hey, Gretch. Did you see Vin and Diamond? Talk about a rocky relationship. A crush on Lucas? Really? Things can't be that bad. Okay, Isabel, you were absolutely right. As always, what uh, was I right about? As it happens, a number of folks, faculty... Why is Vin a secretary? What the heck are you talking about? He's an administrative assistant. Keep up my shenanigans and they'll have to add Max Caulfield to the list. I didn't realize I needed cryptid erotica until just now. Vin met Maya in Lucas's class, and he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield, which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. He looks so composed. Let's hope what I've learned is enough to crack him. Bad time? Oh, it's fine. I'm just playing calendar Tetris. Gwen's hearing threw off the boss's schedule. Anyway, what can I do for you, Max? Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please, enlighten me. 
I need to understand something that I did. That I... Don't remember doing. You know that sounds clinically insane, right? I extremely do. Thank you. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But... That wasn't true, was it? Finn... What really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. You're not saying Lucas... Killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Like, for example, if Sophie suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? No more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. The thing about Gwen selling hard drugs? That wasn't her. She was framed. Max, I get that you like Dr. Hunter, we all do, but there's video evidence. I saw the footage. Gwen smiles at the camera, like she wanted to get caught. I'm not going to ask how you got your hands on confidential material from an official school investigation. Good, because I'm not telling you. All right. So was the cow skull you, or not? <sighs> yes. So, why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were, what, protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And... Now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield, whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. Max, don't need to knock. My door's always open. Come on in. I want to show you something. Aw, cute. <laughs> My son gave that to me a few years ago. I just dug it out of storage. What can I get you to tell me about Maya? Ah, are you familiar with that Alcaria forests? They're all over southern Chile. I'm not. They look beautiful, though. Well, next time the wanderlust hits you. I don't recognize the name. Oh, that. A fan sent it to me. He's quite famous, actually. Do you follow much football? Uh, not really. Looks like someone had a party foul. What? Oh, it's just coffee. Uh... I'm a little preoccupied.
What can I get you to tell me about Maya? What did you want to show me? Take a look at that. This is actually a really cool shot. I hope Robbie's doing okay. A pen so fancy I'd be nervous to write with it. Looks like Lucas has been having some late nights. A movie? Holy shit. Now I don't have to read the rest of the book. Holy shit. He actually did it. Did I make the right choice? Should I have told Sophie about this? It's a temporary one. I bought myself two weeks to find some solid evidence. I know you may not be thrilled. Safi's your friend. But it's giving me a lot of peace of mind, so... Thank you. No problem. I hope... Whatever is going on between you and Safi... Can be fixed. Hopefully... Without that. I'm afraid that ship has sailed. But I'm sure that's not why you came to my office. How can I help you, Max? Why aren't you at that Burlington book event? The book expo? I pulled out. Didn't seem important, what with everything happening to Robbie and all this. How's Robbie doing? Still angry with me, but we're making progress. I canceled a few things to go to his Taekwondo match. I think it made him happy. I don't mean to pry, but I couldn't help seeing that email from your agent. Oh, no worries. It's an incredible feeling. Getting chosen for the big screen? About time, right? <laughs> uh, just don't tell people yet. Okay, Max? These sorts of things, they have to be announced properly. I'm thinking at Krampus. Krampus? Probably. I have a call with my agent later. I'll get the details then. I was wondering, what can you tell me about Maya Okada? Why do you ask? Surely you know why I'm asking. Better than anyone else. I'm afraid I don't, actually. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a phone call to take with my agent, so if you could see yourself out. Sure. Well, that was a bust. Won't be able to snoop around in here, either. All right, let's see what I can find about Maya. Poor devil. 
banished to the hell from whence he came. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. Hmm. Seems like at least one student remembers Lucas fondly. Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did fun. World's okayest dad. Might be the first time Lucas didn't oversell himself. Don't think I've ever seen this sort of tree in the wild. Pretentious, shiny, and probably hasn't typed a word in years. Kinda like Lucas. That's not what I was expecting. Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. Come on, there's gotta be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Holy shit, it's the same. Finn was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. This is what I've been missing this entire time. I have to talk to Sophie. Safi, hey. Stay strong, Habibti. You know where to find me. Is something wrong? Oh. You want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. Safi, What? I did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> Yeah. Me too. I don't have energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while.
I spent so many nights like this when I was on the road. Diners, bars, hotels. I liked being alone then. At least, I think I did. Chloe's probably partying. She'd pick up for me. But it's not up to her to take care of me anymore. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. Or Vin said he'd be here too. In the dead world, turtle, that is. So, any idea what you're gonna do? Looks like nobody's having a great night. Well, I'll be... Hey, Max. Oh, fuck. That's about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. <laughs> Thank you. You okay? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie! What happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. You ever have a thing for the wrong person? Not so much that you'd notice, but... I've done other dumb shit for love. So... See? I told you she's a bro. I didn't think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move on, and he's right. I just... I haven't felt this way about anyone, ever. I don't know if I will again. Give yourself some time. Life has a way of surprising us. Really hope you're right. I wish Safi gave me a moment to explain. Are you the one who's unlucky, or is it just everyone who ever meets you? You stay the fuck away from me! I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. What Lucas did to Maya was deplorable. I can only imagine how painful that was for Sophie. And I poked at that pain like a kid with a stick. Maybe I should have told her the truth. I think I kill you. Sorry, I'm trying to fix it. Oh, fuck. I thought things would be different here. I hope Sophie doesn't hate me for too long.
you know, I'll admit, I don't really see too many live performances. And we're going to correct that immediately. If you want to get to know me, music is a surefire way to do that. Oh, well, in that case, I'll bring a notebook and take notes. Excellent, write this down. Uh, does comedy, enjoys live music, super cute. That last one's important. I feel like you've done this before. What's in the Max Journal? Hot's definitely there. And mysterious. Hoping you can help me fill it out a little more. Not even huge novelty monster heads are gonna improve this mood of mine. There's Gwen. I should tell her about that weird security footage. Hey, Gwen. Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. I'm sorry to bother you, but... I really think you should take a look at the footage. It's weird. Like, game-changingly weird. I think you should fight this. I'll look into it. Anything else? Oh, well, that's all. Um, I hope. Just take care. <laughs> Just talk to me, Safi. Tell me what's happening. All dressed up for Krampus. I was so excited to go. I doubt I will. I love watching her work. Oh shit, that's weird. Do not say that out loud, Max. Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport? <laughs> you cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. The old sport is more my style anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste? Let's do the gasoline. I want to burn my throat off. Shitty mezcal? All of the smoke, none of the dip. Taste buds are overrated. How are we feeling now? <sighs> like... Like, I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom, but then I realize I'm still falling. <laughs> you are such a disaster. Oh God, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. It's fine. Seriously, I don't need company while I wade through this self-pity swamp. Oh, which is why you're at a popular bar. <laughs> the best spot for a solo self-pity party. Come on! Remember that date we were gonna go on? What do you say we have that date now? What are we gonna do? 
kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. Okay. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole. Best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back. And Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Hold up. Why is the merch scary? We approach the merch table. It's covered in stickers and pins, and they're all of this horse that looks like it was, quite frankly, drawn by a toddler, and yet it's powerful. No matter where you stand, it stares into your soul. Sick as hell. I buy a sticker. You now have one sticker. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary kill. And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's thrash, Shakabra. Okay. Let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> we throw ourselves into the crowd. <laughs> immediately get a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. <sighs> I'll only need one eye to see the show anyway. <laughs> hey, the singer, is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. I run over to the spot where she would land. Wait, don't you have an ice pack in one hand? Oh, oops. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh. Shit. I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't tell me that the singer, that she... Stone cold dead on the floor. But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. Before we leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with, let's see. One terrifying horse sticker, some bruises from moshing, and an invitation to a Viking funeral. <laughs> if that was just a dry run, imagine what the real revenge horse show is going to be like. It's been a buck wild day. But that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, 
My existence won't make things worse for everyone around me. You keep saying that about your day. What happened? Why are you so nice to me? Shit. <laughs> I'm doing it again. My therapist says I latch on to people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? At this point... You saying one mean thing would make me dissolve into a puddle of tears. Hey. I have never made a girl cry on a first date before, and I don't want to start now. Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. You're not saying I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a category five hurricane. Um. Sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no. I really, really want to kiss you. Um. It's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me. And I need to know I'm not just projecting. So, you kiss me first. I'm a sucker for a good dare. But I'm also very polite. So you go first. Are you trying to break me? <laughs> Max Caulfield, you are the worst. Fuck. When do you get off? About an hour. Uh, but before we do anything else, maybe we should sleep on it? In my bed? <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are a very smart woman. <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now, I I have to get back to it. Um.
Good business tonight, or the dishwasher is broken. Just pretend like I'm not even here. She's just so hot. Can't be a Bart. Why not? Hmm. Must be game night. Last time we had two Bards, we got totally smoked. Dead in two sessions. Sessions. That doesn't make any sense. Why don't you just make the campaign easier if two people want to be Bard? This Reggie looks better than the last time I saw him, but he doesn't look good exactly. Hey Reggie, feeling okay? Uh, I don't feel like I'm about to fall off the face of the earth, so. Reggie. I know, I'm not doing good, Max. I wasn't doing good before I saw me. Now I'm worse. I think something like that would rattle anyone. That's not the only thing, though. When I was a freshman, I thought moving here across the country would fix everything that was broken inside of me. Everyone here just thinks I'm a fuck up. And maybe, maybe they're right. Reggie, you're funny, genuine, clumsy. <laughs> but I've seen your photos. You're not a fuck up. At least there's one thing I'm good at. <laughs> Thanks, Max. Anytime. Take the visionary ventures gig? I'm supposed to give them an answer by tomorrow. And. And? This Amanda has been taking care of me for days. I should give her a break. Hey. Hey, Damn, yourself. that's not what I expected. That How changed. are we feeling? It was all Moses. Oh, you know. I made pasta I'm for him upright. since he wasn't really eating. Oh, lucky Take it guy. easy, okay? Your spaghetti a la carbonara made me see God. And? He wrote me this really sweet note, saying I was... Still don't feel shitty enough to drink beer. How can I give all that up? Moses, Caledon, the astronomy department? I thought you were trying to be all... There's Vin. Exactly where he said he'd be. No. It's embarrassing. Come here often? Oh, you're here. You invited me. I guess I did. That feels about 40 years ago. <sighs> Help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
rough day? Everybody hates me. I'm annoying. I'm bothering to everyone. My colleagues, Moses, Tafi. Tafi used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Zafi was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I mean, um... Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Zafi. Well... I should have told you. There's been a lot going on, and it's not like we're besties or anything. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything, and it ended a while ago, but I guess I had this idea that we'd make up eventually. <laughs> Any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? I know what happened to Maya. <laughs> Christ, Max! I was joking! And I know what you did after she died. <clears throat> I was young, I was an asshole, and I didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until I shriveled up and died. Does the past version of you ever feel like... I don't know... an alien? Like... the shit that person cared about is so worthless. You can't even remember being them? That sounds like a shitty spot to be in. Especially right out of undergrad. Right? Here I was with the chance to be uh, salaried, health insured, even fucking 401k'd. And all I had to do was talk shit. Which I'm good at. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. See, you made yourself right at home. I blame Vin. Oh, you hitting that? What? No. I mean, we were talking, and then Sophie happened, and I guess Amanda didn't feel like I could hack it. Oh. That's kind of whack? She's probably right. She's cute, but... Uh... A little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles can be hot. Uh-huh. I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy with the telescopes. Moses? Once, I asked him how his day was going. And he explained to me the double slit experiment. It was weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? You're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend. And this would be extremely friendly. Moses, smash or pass? He's a friend. It'd be too weird. More for me. I'll say this for Caledon. It's got a high ratio of fuckable faculty. 
<laughs> Dr. Hunter, for instance. Interested? She's a wife! So do a lot of people. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold up. This is smash or pass? Not have a healthy, long-term relationship in two and a half kids or pass. I'm not asking if you want to marry them, just... Just... <laughs> ah! Exactly! <laughs> Professor Colmanero. No. He sucks. Does he now? You suck! <laughs> hey, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas. Smash or pass? Pass. He's a dick. <laughs> and yet, I've put up with worse for less. <laughs> okay, my turn. Yes, mean. Oh, now that's just unfair. <laughs> Why? Because then I'd have to admit just how hot I find authority figures. <laughs> I would not have pegged you for the type. Oh, yeah. What would you peg me for? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't just let it lie there. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. My turn again. Let's see. Who do we both no. Uh -huh. No. My students are off limits. Well, as I am one at Caledon and two not one of your students, which appear to be your two standards. Come on. So? What about me, Miss Caulfield? Where do I fall on the binary? Whatever, I'm drunk. Good answer. Thanks, Finn. Oh. I really... Just thanks. Do you have to go? Would you be willing to believe I need to go save the world? Not as a general rule. But who knows with you, Max Caulfield. <laughs> Take it easy, Max. I better cross back over in case Safi is cooled off and is trying to reach me. Do I make any money as a grad student? No. Do I have any job prospects? No. But do I get excited every time I walk into my lab? Fuck yes. That's how Safi felt about her poetry. And she's never gonna get the chance to write poetry again. Shit. When you put it like that. Not to give you an ex- Just one for the road. Sorry to kiss and run, Ben. Is 
so with your name. Looks like Reggie took off. He sounded like he had a lot on his mind. Nothing from Safi. I don't know what I was hoping for. Maybe I should just head home for the night. What the hell? We now return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. Oh, God. This is bad. Whoever was here really messed this place up. What were they looking for? There goes my security deposit. I doubt the home invader attacked my pillows. This is a... an inside job.
No, 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 no. All my Arcadia Bay stuff. What the hell do they want with this? Safi's books. What could anyone want with those? Daisy, say tuna fish. Maybe not the best time for a photo op, but you're so cute. I can't resist a cat on a fridge. Hey, say meow. Fair enough. Hey, you're okay? What happened? Did you see who came in? Hey now, I bet your claws were sharper than theirs. Come on, jump. I'll catch you. You stay up there then. Gather your thoughts. Here? Fuck! I think they just went into the dark room. I can't let them go through my investigation stuff. I don't need an article. I see the wreckage every time I close my eyes. God, I wish you were here, Chloe. I could use some of your courage. Hope you've got an eyeful, creep. Looks good, but why did they mess with Sophie's poetry books in the first place? Everything's still here where it belongs. Max Moses, I must bid you adieu. Make good choices, or you know, don't. What the... Looking for these? Really, Max? Most designated drivers at least give you a ride. No ride. You're staying here tonight. 
But mom... Only intruder in that world is Sophie. I wish she was here right now. Shit is right. You're... You're me. I wish I could tell you there's a reasonable explanation for that. Wait! No doorways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Shit, how do I know which way? I haven't lost her. I 
almost got her. What? Now what? Are you here to help me with Sophie? Sophie? God, Max, you're standing here looking at your own self, and still your focus is on Sophie. I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All that stuff in your dark room about Lucas, about Vin, about Gwen? Shit you have no reason to know about or care about. That's not true. I'm trying to help Sophie. Of course you were. God, I'm so sick of people trying to help. Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. No! Uh Super Max? Come on. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. <laughs> 